Johnson and I want to help you out with carving your first Greenland paddle. First suggestion I make is downloading a PDF document from the web called Making a West Greenland Paddle by Chuck Holst. Print it out, staple it together, and we're going to reference that through the build here. Um, so anyway, let's, let's get started. These are the tools I use for making paddles. <clears throat> a three foot flexible scale or ruler, a uh, power sander, a combination square, sure form tool, small block plane, a jack plane, tape measure, C-clamp, safety glasses, jigsaw, and for finish, finishing the paddle, tongue oil and a urethane. If you're going to get your material from the lumber yard, probably the best thing to do is, is take a look at the wider boards. <clears throat> the piece I found for my paddle is uh, uh, 2 by 12 by 8 feet. And the reason I chose that is because a lot of times you'll, you'll find much better 2x4 out of these 2x12s. Now, as you can see, there's some big knots in here. Um, but, but I only need about 84 inches is going to be the length of my paddle. I only need, so I only need 84 inches long by 3.5 wide. So I've got a nice clean piece out of that right there. I'll just cut away those knots, use that piece to drop for something else. Um, also, you, you usually find a better grain in these wider, in these wider boards. <clears throat> if you notice on the 2x4 material, a lot, of a lot of times you'll see actual circular grain, like the tree's only 5 inches in diameter and they cut the 2x4 out of it. So these wider boards are taken from, of course, bigger trees. So like, like this one, the grain kind of curves up and it goes parallel to, to this edge out towards the end. And that's what we want. We want the grain nice and uh, vertical. So, I'm going to cut that piece out of there. I'll cut my 2x4 out of there. And I'll have a really nice piece of wood to work with. <clears throat> I'll get okay, right I'll get my 2x4x8 by by cut out of the 2x12. And let's go on to getting some measurements for the pattern. Uh, I think it's easy enough just to grab the tape measure. Uh, we'll get an arm span here of 67. Uh, and let's measure, the other measurement is arm span plus the, uh, the length from elbow to I think the, the first joint of the fingers, I like to go to the tip of the fingers, that gives me 17 inches. And it makes my pad at 84 inches long. Now I'll go for the loom. Um, grab it like that. I like to just let it let the tape measure dangle and uh, then just kind of relax your arms, let them go to your side. A nice comfortable position, and then take a look at the outside, which is 19. So the, uh, the length, overall length is going to be 84 inches, and my loom is going to be 19 inches. Okay. Uh, paddle width, you can do the dimensions that Chuck Holes uh, gives in his PDF. Um, I know uh, my paddle is around three and a quarter to three and a half inches wide, anywhere in there. And the loom, I also know I like about an inch and an eighth by an inch and a half. So I'm going to stick with those measurements on this paddle. And uh, the next step will be drawing some lines on this. And it would be a good time to go back to the Chuckles uh, PDF and uh, uh, review uh, the drawings he has in there. And then I will start drawing some lines. Okay, so I got my paddle cut to length at 84. I want to mark the center of that at 42. I want to mark the ends of the loom. My loom was 19 inches. Uh, half of that is 9.5. So to put my loom on the center, I've got to go 42 minus a 9.5, which puts me at 32.5. And 42 plus 9.5 will put me at 51.5.
And that's the center of the panel and the ends of the room. Now, one thing I don't think was mentioned in the PDF is a combination square would come in real handy. Also, what we'll, we'll use for drawing the lines out um, is a three foot flexible scale. So, let's mark our lines for the loom. And we'll put a line in the center. And we'll just go right around, all the way around the panel here with that line. On the other end of the loom. And we'll do the center line. And you do that on all four sides. Um, so I'll let you guys do that. Make those lines. <clears throat> let me give you a close up of what I did there. Lines there. And I taper all the way from the loom. Okay. 